Welcome back to Character Select, Dave, Tyler, Quest for Glory 4, Shadows of Darkness. Apologize for the slight delay from the last episode, at least on the upload schedule here. But Tyler was in crunch and then I was moving and bad things happened. Real life happened! Yay! Real life is always more important than any kind of weird YouTube nonsense. So, we had to take a break, but we're back. And we're almost done, <laughs> actually. <laughs> back with a vengeance! But, um... Oh, great. What am I fighting? It's a Necrotor! Who's a good boy? Ow. Who's a Ow. good boy? Ow! Stop it. Who's full of worms? Ow! Fucking stop! Dude, just get good. I fucking love this song. I really do. That guy's just going ham on that sim. <laughs> ah, I don't have enough stamina to do full power. Yeah, because you're a weak wizard. <laughs> Such wizarding powers, but limited stamina. Wizard. <laughs> well, that's okay. We can actually go to the end game right now, but we're actually going to sleep because our fucking shit is all messed up. Uh, it's Pumpkin potato. Ween! Ween. It's actually getting close to Pumpkin Ween. It is. I'm going to be doing an all-day stream on Pumpkin Ween. Oh boy, what will you be streaming? I haven't figured it out yet. I might actually finish Until Dawn. I haven't decided. You are flying mm. in the very source of all magic. Yay! You are filled with power and the knowledge of how to use it. That's cool. Unlimited power! Wait, does that mean I'm going to disintegrate in aliens? Fill their branches with magical uh, I don't get the reference. The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. The very ground oh, radiance. right. That was unlimited knowledge, not unlimited power. You sing the message of your heart, and the magic echoes around you a song of love and happiness. Delightful. Then you realize that it is not you doing this. It was someone else back in time. Damn time traveling wizards. <laughs> Fucking things up for everyone. You hear that voice calling you again. I don't know if we have Darkness enough time to get all of the dreams here. Because we do have a time limit for, you know, going to die if we don't finish this free. thing for Katrina. But... Calls from the center mm. of the darkness, drawing you nearer and nearer. Kingdom Hearts! The darkness <laughs> sucks at you. Pulling you towards the voice as it flays all warmth and light. Fill me with the power of darkness. You scream. That was okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you gradually. We've already determined, and I, because I've told you that those are the memories of Katrina, or not Katrina, mm. Arana. Yep. The darkness is the dark one that she tried to banish and failed. Uh huh. So that's basically a dream of, of her some... life and then her last moments. So, you know, After... pretty bad. Pretty bad times for her. She clearly wasn't much of a wizard if she got beaten by some scrub like the Dark One. <laughs> <laughs> by some scrub like the thing from beyond time. Yeah, we'll have to show her how it's done. It's funny because it's After... not the way it works at all. We, we literally have After... nothing else to do right now. We're just waiting for Nightfall. Uh... We could sing American Pie. Bye, bye, Miss American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. What the fucking mouse? Get on the screen. Thank you. Jesus. All right. So do you want to go see if we can get the last dream or do you want to go to the castle in the end game? Ah, let's do the dream and okay. then go to the castle. Because we do have one more night. But if we don't finish it by tomorrow night, we're super dead. Well, perhaps let's save it now, then. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Floating! But yeah, that, um, that Geas, or Geeth, or Cheeth, or however the fuck you pronounce that, um, is 100% legitimate. If you don't finish the game in three days, you're dead. Or if you don't get back to the castle in three days. Um, she used the five-point palm heart exploding technique on you except instead of five steps it's five days and instead of five days it's three days <laughs> yes so this exactly this might be the last dream 
you float gently in this ocean of harmony. You remember the happiness of being here before this. Now there is greater joy. You are not alone. It's my favorite Final Fantasy song. <laughs> you share your hopes. I like Over the Hill. All the best moments. It's a good song. Knowing that here, uh, you are not alone. From nine, is the best. So, you reach out to touch your friend. The description here there is, no one is there. Irana, not me. It's like, oh, you're not, you're not alone. You're you sharing somebody. Alone. You're sharing it with somebody. Blah blah blah. It's not. It's Irana's feelings about me being there. Mm -hmm. Gradually wake. And unfortunately, that was not the last dream. There's one more where it's basically. Um, Instead of, uh, shit, instead of uh, fading into the darkness and being like, oh god, bad things are happening, it's mm. you actually kiss her, and it it's like she's there and you're giving her hope, even though she's still trapped in the darkness. It's actually really cool, but we don't have time to do it. <laughs> yeah, she'll just have to deal with that until we get to her. Yeah. She'll she'll survive. She, she she'll, lasted long uh, enough without it. She'll she'll she she's she she's good. Uh, she's fine. She's fantastic. Do 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 do. So let's go to the end game. Sure, why not? <laughs> let's go summon a dark one, which is basically as unheroic as you can get. I mean, summon it to destroy it. Um, I'm gonna there we go. Hi guys. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, thanks for opening the doors. Hi again. Oh, what a good boy uh, you are. Phoenix from the X Men. <laughs> Dark Phoenix from the X Men. I could name. <laughs> Hi. So you have that is some with the 80s hair right there. Right. Very good. Like that's the perm from hell. To the Dark One's cave. It will be That's probably what uh, Adavis is here for, to keep her hair permanently permed. <laughs> That's how you get the best magic, man. Ya Avuzel, hear me, great dark one. What a Open fucking dumb name, Avuzel. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, like, it's totally from, it's from Winnie the fucking Pooh. Open it's totally in line with fucking dark one. Like, Cthulhu is a stupid name until you realize that it's not. Cthulhu is hey, less. Look, somebody said our name, but not voiced. That's all I can do for you, friends. You'll need to perform the other rituals yourself. We will be watching you, so do not even think of trying to betray. But I mean, I feel like names are stupid when they have like Z's in them. Yeah. Before you begin the other rituals. I mean, I don't disagree. Be careful. Wait, what? Yes, we would hate for anything unpleasant to happen to you. The feeling isn't mutual. Enter now, and good luck. So, for what it's worth, Katrina's only motivation in summoning the Dark One is that she wants to cloud the sun from the sky so that as a vampire, she's not going to die by going outside. Oh, there he is, right there. Let's kill him. The gruesome creature is a cross between a squid, chocolate pudding, and your worst. Mmm, chocolate pudding. <laughs> Looks awake, Squid. alert, and as if it would enjoy having you for supper. A large book lies on the ground beside it. Reading is as fundamental. As it now appears, something about the creature's shape suggests that it was once as human as you. Something truly terrible. Oh, it's must like, have uh, I have no mouth yet, I must scream. Shape. Which is a fucked up story. With an even more fucked up adventure game <laughs> yes actually so you remember when we were escaping here and we flew across and the tentacle came up and tried to grab us uh -huh. this is that thing which you wanted your help as always once, me. once you see it it's actually not that impressive but Killed me. yoink no that is my only oh, entertainment can reach the book you don't have a chance of taking it as long as the creature is alive, awake, and active. Dang. Suck on that, nerd! Okay, um, go to sleep. A gentle feeling of peace suffuses the cave. The horrible creature slowly relaxes, 
and subsides into an uneasy sleep. Cool. Now can I fetch it? Never. Your spell travels down to the cave floor and draws up a large, well-worn book. Noble man, we don't care about no nobleman. You pick up the book and read it. It is the diary of the last boyar. It seems that the thing in the pit was the last boyar. Being a servant of the Dark One didn't do much for his looks or disposition. On the last page is the thing you have been searching for. The Ritual of Essence. Now you have all the rituals, and the summoning of the Dark One can begin. Yay! The book <laughs> I mean, into dust in your hands why is he you doing this again? Because I don't have a choice. I'm being forced into it, or they're going to kill me. I mean, wouldn't, like, not summoning some horrific dark entity be a better fate than, like, living... <sighs> The, having summoned the horrific dark entity. The other side of it, and there is actually logic to this, is that the dark one is corrupting the land because it was partially summoned. If we fully summon it, we can defeat it or banish it properly. If it bleeds, we can kill it? Yeah, more or less. Okay. Um, and the other thing is, if we don't help Katrina and Adavis, then they'll just get somebody else to do it. Yeah, and but somebody how many, less capable. Like, yeah, how many like amazing wizards are there out there? Well, that's why I said somebody less somebody less capable. They'll so then they won't succeed. Well, they'll go through a lot of people until then. As a hero, it's our job to make sure that they don't succeed, and the best way to do that is by stopping them by helping them. It's weird. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but it's also weird. Okay, it also so. makes no sense. So here's the buttholes. We need All to right, go so in. Alright, so butthole number one. What's behind butthole number one? Hey, look. It's where we came from. Hey, look. There's bones. Okay. Damn so bones. Damn bones. Digga, 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 digga. Ah! Digga. Okay. So first things first, we need to put the torch back. Oh, yeah, we did put get that torch, torch didn't we? And light the other torch. Woo, with our magical powers. And then the bone ritual is the first one? Yeah. So the uh, rituals can't be read until you get to the place where you actually need to use them. There are lines in the sand, as if it has been used in the past to form pictures. There is no apparent pattern to the lines at the moment. There are lines. Okay, so this doesn't make sense unless you just kind of try everything, but you have to use uh -huh. something on the altar in order to be able to use the ritual. For, uh, ritual. So, right. what do we use? What do we have? Uh, I'm looking at my inventory here. I don't fucking know what some of the things are, dude. Okay, money, mana fruit, potion, potion, food, dagger, flask, keys, oil, armor, uh, flint, garlic, dark one sign, bones, rags, Rubber chicken, flowers... Does it have a pulley in the middle? No, it does not have a pulley in the middle, unfortunately. Oh, we need a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. That's so true. We have some jewelry. Uh, jewelry? Uh, iron hammer and a stake, and then a bunch of rituals. Uh, okay, so it's either drawing shit in the sand with the bones or the dagger. The altar feels strangely warm. Uh, nope, we have to figure out the pattern. We have to know what pattern to draw. Oh, I see. Rubber chicken with the pulley in the middle. Yeah, no. That didn't do anything. You, that did. Nice try. It's something we've been carrying around, not necessarily because we wanted to. The sandwich. Yes. I'm gonna eat one. You eat it. <laughs> the um, octopus thingy. Yep. You press the dark one sign against the top of the altar. The sand I did it. To Hooray! The of the sign. The Dark One sign dissolves into the sand. Thank God we dropped it finally. Creepy ass fucking thing. Alright, and then now we can use the Bone Ritual. The only reason that that is required is because it's to get rid of the Dark One sign, otherwise you will carry it for the rest of your life. You unroll the spell mm. containing the Bone Ritual. I hope you like John Rhys Davies the saying past, weird ritual you things. Begin to perform the ritual. Uh, Cthulhu yeah, Fatang, blah 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 blah. Dark one, come! 
I stand among your massive bones. Let your skeleton once more be filled with Oh, your that's presence. his bones. Yeah. The rocks hmm. in the cave creak and groan around you as if forced to bear some massive weight. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, so are those his buttholes? <laughs> I hope not. Take shape once more in this place that is your home. Stand again among us. The bones so that I can stab you in the face. So, fun fact about the ritual. Once you start reading a ritual, you cannot stop until it's done. Mm. It's creepy. Come. As you complete the ritual, the scroll turns to dust in your hands. Suddenly you realize that the nearest bones have formed into a cage and are closing around you. What? Okay. Well, that's bad. All right, next time on Character Select, we'll figure out what the fuck to do in here. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And Tyler. If rituals. You is a ritual magic spell wizard. I'm kind of okay with never actually casting this spell, but I guess we have a choice. Wizard. <laughs>